Welcome back everybody. We're making some sausage, egg and cheese breakfast burritos this morning. Before I went to bed, I was all like, I don't have to do anything for the burritos. Totally could have shredded that cheese. It's Friday. here with a pallet delivery. Something fun coming. How many does this make that we have now? Five? Did you get five yesterday? Yeah. So we have 11 now. We just need about probably, how many did Daddy say? He said at least 20. At least 20? Yeah. This is gonna be a fun project, y'all. All right, time to cook supper. Tonight we're gonna be having the hamburger steaks, slaw, baked beans, and smashed potatoes. Tyler's about to go run and exchange the propane tank for me. What else? It seems like I'm missing something. Slaw, hamburger steak, baked beans, smashed potatoes, oh, and barbecue bread. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the slaw, get it in the refrigerator, then I will, I'm trying to decide, I need bacon for the baked beans. I'll probably just wait. He'll be right back with the propane tank. I'll just wait for that and cook the bacon on the blackstone. I can actually do the, all the baked beans on the blackstone. I got the cabbage sliced off there. Now I'm gonna get my food chopper so it'll chop it up really fine. Chopping up the carrots. It's kind of weird. You want one? What does that sound? That sounds like an ice cream truck. So I got this purple cabbage for the sweet chili chicken and rice bowls last night, and that's why I'm using it for the slaw. Normally I use green cabbage, but purple is fine. It'll be really pretty when it be. You use green cabbage? Yeah, most of the time I use green cabbage for slaw. I'm ready to do it. There you go. And hey, what's that stuff? Cabbage. Oh, well, you forgot to plug it up. No, it's plugged up. It's doing something. Oh, there we go. Now it's ready. Now let's do some carrots. Yeah, this is gonna be a really pretty slaw. We'll do a little bit more cabbage. I might still have a lot of cabbage left over here. Is it time to do carrots? Almost. We'll do that cabbage, then we'll do the carrots. <laughs> so my original plan was salads instead of slaw, but I talked to Titus on the phone and he was like, I would really like some slaw with that. And I knew I had all this extra cabbage from last night. So I said, I can make some slaw. Don't you worry. He doesn't know it's gonna be purple. 
Oh no, he does know it's gonna be purple. I forgot, I told him that I had the purple cabbage. Do yeah, now carrots. we'll do the carrots. Yay, the carrot, 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 carrot. Carrot, 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 carrot. Oh, there's a bag. What is that stuff, mama? Carrots. Oh, is that carrot, mm -hmm. y'all Can we do more carrots? Uh, that's all the carrots. It's actually a little more carrots than I normally put in there. But <laughs> This is like Clemson Tiger's slaw right here. He's trying to find the tiger. He didn't know what that means. <laughs> I'm the tiger. Yep, I think that's enough. Uh, we, we'll wrap that cabbage up and put it back in the refrigerator. I do have some broccoli slaw mix, but that is for the barbecue chicken sliders that we're gonna be making probably tomorrow, either tomorrow or Sunday. Okay, I'm gonna put in a little bit of salt and pepper, some onion powder, Sometimes I put onion flakes in here too, but I don't think I have any dried onion flakes. Yeah, I don't see any, but uh, you could also, you know, just chop a fresh onion, but the kids like it better without the fresh onion in there. Now we're gonna put just a little bit of sugar and then mayonnaise and that's it. Tyler is back with my propane tank, just in time. We've been outside pretty much all day long because it's supposed to rain tomorrow and Sunday for sure. Monday, there's a little bit of a chance of rain. I'm hoping it's just scattered showers and the whole weekend isn't really full of rain. Okay, I'm just gonna put the lid on this and stick it in the refrigerator. And when he puts that propane tank on for me out there, we'll go ahead and start the bacon for the baked beans. That is good, that would be great on a hot dog. The bacon is getting close to being done now, so we're gonna go ahead and put in the peppers and onions. This is the same uh, baked beans that Titus made a few weeks ago. So now we'll just let that cook for about four or five minutes. I've got the potatoes in there boiling in some water. Well, it's almost coming to a boil. When they start boiling, I'm gonna set about an eight minute timer and let them boil for eight minutes. And then we'll drain them and bring them out here to smash them. This is smelling good. Jacob had to come and save the day because I don't know, I wasn't doing something right at first and I wasn't getting any heat. I guess I forgot how to use the Blackstone <laughs> since it's been a while since I've had my propane tank filled. I don't know what I was doing wrong. It just, it was not heating. All right, we're putting in the baked beans. We're using brown sugar and hickory. Bush is best. All right, I've got the other side heating up now. Tyler's getting the hamburger steaks ready for me. I'm gonna go get the barbecue sauce real quick to put in here. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and I'm gonna use the Sticky Fingers Sweet and Smoky Memphis Style Barbecue Sauce. Uh, you can just turn the pot off. It's for the potatoes. And that's it for the baked beans. They'll just sit over here and simmer. 